But after the ball, I couldn't wait to get out of my white wedding gown and go to my other favorite restaurant, Hooters. <laughs> Freaking love Hooters. My dad usually was the one that suggested we go there. I don't know how he and my mom ended up divorced. It's a mystery. But my entire family loved eating at Hooters. Even my mom liked eating at Hooters because you could buy a wheelbarrow of wings for $4. She's like, everybody's rich at Hooters. <laughs> However, she wasn't always willing to admit that she liked Hooters. After my parents divorced, my mom started dating a very conservative, very religious man, the kind of man who stayed through an entire sermon and didn't leave to go to Chili's, <laughs> let alone Hooters. To him, everything was a sin. So one night, we were trying to figure out where to go eat, and out of habit, I just go, oh, well, let's just go to Hooters. And my mom stiffens up. Because <laughs> they're man friends right there. <clears throat> and she says, ah, have never. <laughs> Eaten at Hooters. <laughs> what are you talking about? I have been to Hooters my entire life. Not with me. I have never been to Hooters. I'm like, you recruited my babysitter at a Hooters. <laughs> no. I'm like, you hired two Hooters waitresses to hula hoop at my brother's high school graduation party. <laughs> No, those were just two girls who loved to hula hoop. <laughs> it was just a year earlier when my mom was single that my entire family took me to Hooters to celebrate my 18th birthday. Now, this was a time in our chain restaurant history when if it was your birthday, the entire wait staff came out just singing happy birthday to you. They're banging drums, they're throwing plates, they got t-shirt cannons, there's confetti. Everybody knows it's your birthday. And I didn't want that kind of attention at a Hooters because I didn't know how I felt about boobs, especially not other people's boobs. <laughs> so in the car ride there, I say to everyone in my family, I'm like, you better not tell them it's my birthday or I'll kill you. <laughs> so we get to Hooters and my brother's girlfriend comes up to me and she goes, guess what? I told him it was your birthday. So I shanked her. <laughs> Yes. I'm all sweating from the Hooters and hot sauce, and I'm eating my chicken wings all angry, because I know what's happening at the end of this meal. I'm like, ugh, ugh. And sure enough, here comes the boob parade. It's just titties, 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 titties. There's eight Hooters waitresses, and they grab me by the hand, and they start parading me around the restaurant. It feels like the gay Salem witch trials. <laughs> They're just like, we got one! We got one! Gather around! We got one! <laughs> then they take a bar stool just like this. They put it in the middle of the restaurant, and they make me stand on top of this bar stool. Then all eight Hooters waitresses circle around me like some sort of satanic ritual. I'm like, am I about to get hanged in a Hooters? <laughs> Surrounded by the thing I think I love and cannot touch, this is cruel! <laughs> so I'm just standing there awaiting my fate and all of a sudden I hear this noise and I look down and all the Hooters waitresses are jumping up and down like this. <laughs> 
Because it turned out back then, when it was your birthday, you got to stand on a bar stool and look down while titties <laughs> flopped all around you. <laughs> this was before the Me Too movement. <laughs> So I'm sitting there with titties flopping all around me. I look up, my entire family is eating chicken wings and cheering me on. <laughs> so I'm now reminding my mother of that night and she doubles down. Ah, hell, <laughs> never <laughs> eaten at Hooters. <laughs> 